Man, this thing is stupid slow. <laughs> this has been printing for two hours and 46 minutes. It's at 48%. Holy moly. It looks fine, but I'm like, ah. And this stuff, too, this uh, cubic, it is a nightmare. It, um, I remember now. It, uh, it gets all these, like, boogery things in between it. But, just out of curiosity, we've got direct drive. Uh, let's see. We've got dual Z access. You know, I think everything, you know, I mean, looks okay. Let's go 200%. See what it ends up doing. <laughs> These guys in the background talking about riding motorcycles drunk. Let's see. This one won't really give me an idea of what it's doing. <coughs> but I would imagine it should be able to print faster I swear I sliced the file at a hundred so but I don't think it's doing the infill at 100 it's definitely moving a lot faster so let's see how well it does I would say that this looks more like 50 with good acceleration Yeah, I don't know. Does that look? It doesn't look that much faster. But we've already went up two percent. I'd have to see what uh, settings I could make. Uh, Anyway, I like this. It's got a regular USB that doesn't require some stupid crap that might fail, and the SD card slot isn't upside down like the stupid Enders. There's an old ender right here. You got the old, old USB on this one. This is the, uh, the version 1.14. That would have came out of this thing. The uh, Pro. 
Anyway, I was watching some videos about people talking about doing print farms and stuff and talking about selling stuff on Etsy and uh, they're talking about, you know, um, they had to get rid of their uh, printers and they basically bought a bunch of bamboo labs because they just weren't getting the quality they needed out of the other printers that were like kind of Creality type ones. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, I if I if I had had a way to make money printing, I definitely could tell you that I would definitely not be using the Creality printers except for in the last resort. But this girl was talking about she had bought two of the any cubic cobras or something and she started printing nameplates and um anyway um she couldn't keep up with it and one of the printers broke she bought the parts fixed it and then uh i guess she bought a bamboo lab on a whim and then she started to get really busy and then bought another bamboo lab but anyway I thought it was an interesting story. Um, I forget the name of her channel, but she was a school teacher, and she got pregnant, and she had a kid, and she was doing this printing as a hobby, and it literally, she just got rid of the other printers because she just couldn't, uh, you know, run the Etsy deal. And I, I agree. I, I wouldn't sit here. I, I can't afford if I was. Like she was saying about having orders, 150 orders that would take like 15 hours to print each. Yeah, I would not waste my time to have a 15 hour print possibly fail on one of these. Um, like even this one here, um, I'd prefer not to use if I didn't have to. And definitely not those. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, these aren't bad. They're definitely better than Ender's. These are these are quite a bit better than an Ender, um, in in my opinion. They um, they've got a 32-bit board, their touchscreen. You've got the uh, better USB, in my opinion. Um, I don't know about uh, clipperizing them, but you got a Titan-style extruder, which I think is way better. Uh, there's a little bit of a gear reduction on that, and I think that that really really uh, works out nicely for this. But also, I think that also your slicing software can be a real issue uh, with that. I bet you if I go and uh, run these that I will not, uh, my E-steps will be wrong. Now, you cannot do anything like that here in this uh, um, 2A Auto, uh, you know, um, maker uh, base uh, board. But um, th this has got everything you need. You have the supports, you've got the hot end is okay but you got the extruder direct drive the run out sensor um you just don't the only thing it doesn't really have you don't have a a, a bed level touch sensor but i found that once you get them leveled and everything like that they print pretty consistent um but this one here i actually have i i'll be honest i haven't done a lot of printing on it and it's loose over here and you take it apart it sometimes gets loose over here um, I pretty much think everything should be direct drive because if you wanted to print something else, you know, um, now one issue that I have had quite a bit, which motivated all this today was PLA, old brittle PLA breaks off down in here and it gets stuck and you can't see that it's in there and it's blocking you from putting the filament in and you think that the hot end is clogged. So, um, it's not, it's just this crap so at any rate um uh th this one here you know i never really had a problem you know but i just wanted to upgrade it um but when i had the the extruder facing the other way it was backwards so i really couldn't see what was going on. at least here well i can go look over here and say oh okay oh well look there's a piece of white filament down in here you know is this crap here um so what the hell's going on here so,
What are you talking about? Somebody was yelling at him. So, this thing's dead reliable for the most part. Uh, these are, yeah, I don't know, I mean, probably could be reliable, but they aren't yet. And I haven't, this, this one here, the quality is kind of a little iffy. This one here, I've gotten some pretty good prints off of it. Um, but, uh, I mean, like, you know, at slow speeds. Uh, this printer here is not reliable. Um, it can print really good, but certain things it doesn't like. It definitely favors PLA. Um, and then inside the house, I have a, an SV06 Plus. So if I was going to be 3D printing for a living, I would probably be getting another one of these and getting rid of a lot of these. Um, so... The um, Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro, I, I would probably buy another one or maybe just a regular one. It doesn't really seem to matter. I don't think there's really anything to gain. Um, in fact, replacing palm wheels would be a lot easier than replacing these metal wheels. Or what if this thing wears a, a divot into the uh, rails or something, you know? I have no idea where to buy any of these rails. They're not linear. So, um, I honestly think, although I have not owned the other one, I would probably not buy the metal railed one again. Um, because I think that there's some things that have been pointed out by other people on YouTube and different places about how you can get resonance, resonation resonance vibration oscillation in the uh the deal that uh, palm wheels would definitely uh cancel out so i've seen printers print fast without that rail system so in fact this 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 printer actually prints quite a bit faster but the acceleration is like insane so this is just a regular, you know, deal. Um, so I think this printer here has a lot of potential if they would figure out the ins and outs of what what was wrong. And also, I I haven't uh, had a lot of time to play with the new uh, Cura profile, but it, it seems like it has addressed some of the issues I was having. But... Um, yeah, if I was going to be 3D printing, I would definitely uh, buy another Neptune floor, and I would be using an SV06 Plus for big stuff. Uh, I would be using this for big stuff, and I think that's about it. That's what I would be doing. And then if I really got into trouble, I would buy one of the larger Neptunes, one of the Neptune 4s, the, like Neptune 4 Max or... Or something like that. But I, I wouldn't be wanting to rely on any of these. We get the boogers in the print. Okay. We uh, went up about 6%. But anyway, it doesn't seem like it made a huge difference. I remember printing these, though, on the, uh, the Ender 3 V3 SE. Uh, I think I printed them in about two hours apiece. Anyway. Um, I did some printing on this one. Like I told you guys, I have not messed with this. Um, I think I'm going to go put the regular Ender software back on this. And try a few things. And... Um, 
I need to get a Raspberry Pi and figure out how to do Clipper. I'm not digging this thing at all. And I know Dave had problems with it, so I think there's something wrong with it. And I'm sure I can figure it out. But I want I want to do the Raspberry Pi route um, just because I think it would be cool. Maybe uh, a Pi Zero because, I mean, like they're really, really cheap. So... Maybe I could put a Pi Zero on here and just uh, have it Wi-Fi controlled. No camera, no nothing. Anyway, trying to get some printing stuff going. I don't think I'll ever probably make money doing this. 